Okay, this is a Lazurum room, bringing you the Bearded Dragon. Today we have an upgrade, an upgrade and an update. We have put the Bearded Dragons um, in this 32 gallon reptile tank. Um, you can usually tell a reptile tank um, from any other tank is from, give it a second. Let's think about it. Yes, the wide width of the tank. Because most, because uh, most reptile tanks, uh, reptiles need like place to move, not height. Because that's another 32. That's a fish 32. Reptile 32. So, in here, that's Julius. She's an orange, and back there on the new stick, that's Spike. He's also an orange, I think. Uh, we bought him as a red, but we don't know because he is a so flying colored. Um, this is a custom lid me and my father made. Um, it's this usual insect, um, uh, screen for your, uh, animal proof, of course. Um, screen for, um, for, like, the windows, because you can't really find the stuff. You get an iron mesh one, they get from, like, Petzl or whatever you want to get from. Um, we have this exo pet, no, zoo med. Uh, sand. Uh, I personally like the sand because our beard dragons are smart enough why not to eat the sand. And it is a lot easier to clean up after them because beard dragons do poop. They poop a lot. Well, not a lot, but in big poops. And not like little leopard geckos actually poop in the corner or in poop in general areas. That's bandit. Uh, they are really easy. Like, those are really easy to take care of. Beard dragons are a little harder because they do poop a lot and eat a lot. Of course, that's not bad if your animal poops a lot, except for excessive pooping. They can lead to diarrhea and die. Okay. We have a whole bunch of places for them to climb up on. Um, this is about a foot. About a foot and a couple of inches high. And the bigger dragons are about eight inches long. Maybe ten. Um, we have, to warm them, we have two lamps. Or we have a heating lamp for day. And a night lamp. Um, they're both covered with the switch, so this one is off that. And for night, they can't see it. We can see it, and but warms them up. And we got the. Uh, this is 150. That's 100. I right, just keep the night one a little bit cooler, cause they fall asleep and we don't want to cook them. So, and <coughs> with um. With new tank, um, a lot of people, um, buy driftwood, I can't, that's the camera, uh, that big piece that Spike's on, will show off, he, um, that is a piece of driftwood, driftwood is people, uh, on coastal beaches, mostly Mexico, they find pieces of wood on the, on the beach, and it's all dried out, everything dead off it, except when we use it like that, so, and then they sell it to us for a little of money. And that's why I really don't like just what it's really nice effect. Don't put it in your fish tanks, but in dry tanks like this it does perfect. I also have branches I cleaned and um, debarked myself. Um, that's another video how to debark a uh, thing. But we have for the bearded dragons, they seem to like to keep off the ground. So we also have two medium. The no, lot. These are mediums, right? Use our medium nets. Um, we we'll plan on getting them extra large because um, bigger dragons do like they like to hang on this. One thing I don't like about it is after a couple weeks of, or after a week or two, uh, like not cleaning them or not taking them off, they fall off, and the bigger dragons like to go, "Hey, I'm mad," so they start slowly so climb on, make them fall off even faster. Um. We have, the sand is the most level thing, but there's about it, two, to, an inch or two inches of sand. If we eat, you could all, because all bumpy, be, make it look nice. Um, there's about an inch or two with the sand. Um, it should always be inch, uh, two inches of sand, constant. Because there's a lot of inch into this. Because the actual end of the tank is actually like this here. So like, up to here, be a good amount. So, we love that off, it's all good. Because beer dragons who do dig if they are mad or upset. So, that's another thing. Um, 
The beer dragons, um, they do. We have two food bowls that are being cleaned out right now. Um, because they do poop in the food bowl. They do get mad. They are moody creatures. I gotta tell you that now. Well, ours are at least. If you get that mad, they poop in their food bowl. And you gotta clean them out. And we have a food bowl in there for them, which is actually a puppy bowl, because they eat so much. And a puppy bowl. And we also have a regular reptile, tent, um, reptile uh, water bowl for them. Even though beer dragons, you never see them actually drink the water. They all at least humor you by pooping in the water. This is the water bowl we use. This little, I can't really get that much cleaner because it is very old. Like, first bought them a year and a half ago, new, old. Um, but, even though they don't use it, um, this eating side peasant, they might. Because beer dragons use it to cool off too hot, they will go in the water bowl to cool off. And, oh, almost all the time, poop. And, yes, your beer dragons will taste the sand if you got brand new sand in the first two couple times you put it in. They will figure out it is sand in a couple minutes. But they will taste the surroundings. That's why you make sure everything's cleaned in the tank before you put it in there, because they will taste it to see what it is and recognize it. Like you just try to taste the tank, and almost if you, nope, oh, nope. So yeah, I would. And I also advise if um you don't use wild um branches to bo um boil water and pour all over it, and um. Mm. Yep. Let me fling that beard on me, boy. Uh, Spike's trying to give it a show. And, um, yeah. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about um, any of our other pets, videos, anything else like that, you want to make, make a video for you, we'd be happy to do that too. Um, so, thanks for watching and have a great day.